Nigeria needs to improve on its policy on human capital development in all facets of human endeavors to achieve the required growth and development which have so far eluded the country. This came to the front burner on Thursday in Lagos at the second day of the Southwest HCD Regional Conference with the theme, From Plan to Action, Push for HCD. The representative of the United Nations Children Fund, UNICEF, and that of the World Bank, Ulumide Okwola, rated human capital development in Nigeria low while pointing out what they called poor standards in education and health sectors. The Southwest states were unanimous that time for urgent action on human capital development is now, as the region was prepared to move from planning to action in its development and action plans on HCD. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Abafemi Hamzat, was of the opinion that policymakers needed to prepare the people for challenges in view of global occurrences. Made it clear from the beginning of this administration that no segment of our society should be left behind. We believe this will be a key element of the 21st century economy. And so inclusiveness and social protection have been because of the core of our team's developmental agenda. The interesting thing about the thematic areas is that they're very much in line with our strategic focus areas in your state, which um, in the, since the start of this administration is focused on health, education, security, as well as expanding our economy with um, a great business and infrastructure. The path to implementation has already been set. As we started to talk about today, uh, this journey didn't start today. This journey started in 2018 with an emergency National Economic Council meeting that had all the governors that are, and where they agreed that this was a national emergency. The low uh, human development index of Nigeria is a national emergency. As you heard said today, uh, it was 34%, which means that uh, a child born today in Nigeria or born then in Nigeria would fulfill about 34% of their potential when you look at their health care situation, their education situation, even their, their likelihood of survival. This is a serious affair and I really would like to commend the kind of political will and leadership behind efforts to raise Nigeria's ranking on the human capital index. That is exactly the point behind that Nigeria still has one of the world's highest maternal and infant mortality rates and millions of children, especially girls, are still out of school or facing poor quality learning. And many young people, especially women, are unemployed. Reversing the current trend and accelerating human capital development in Nigeria will require targeted investment in health, in education, and in nutrition.